Number five, Mrs. First Lady is the first in, one of two in the field for trainer Don Reed. Both number one, one dashing Z, and number two, Island Vodka, both in. Number six, Louisiana Kit T, making her 2018 debut. Number seven is Coronas Chrome. Number three, Carneros. Number four is a rising miracle. The last one in, number eight, fishing for a Corona in this eighth and final race of the afternoon. Gates open on boat number two, Island Vodka, and number three, Carneros. However, the gate crew reacting very quickly and have shut the gates. We should be all set to go in this eighth and final race. They're at the post, and they're off. Out oh, quickly towards the inside is one dashing Z. Away second is Carnero, split by Island Vodka. From the far outside, Mrs. First Lady and Corona's Chrome, and Carneros has overtaken the lead. Late run from Corona's Chrome, but they're running out of ground. It's going to be Carneros winning the finale. Second was Corona's Chrome, and fishing for a Corona completes the triactor. Race eight unofficial, 378. Official winner of the eighth race was number three, Carneros. Second was number seven, Corona's Chrome. Third, number eight, Fishing for a Corona. And fourth, number five, Mrs. First Lady.
The results of the eighth race are now official. The winner is number three, Carneros, three-year-old brown gelding by prospect to the top out of Cake Bread and Thou by Valiant Hero. Fold in Oklahoma by Stone Chase Stables, LLC. Carneros is owned by Milena Quishen, trained by Jason Pasco, his second win of the afternoon, and ridden to victory by jockey Eddie Walton, also his second win of the afternoon. Carneros winning the distance with a time of 16.79 seconds, carrying a speed index of 97. Second was number seven, Corona's Chrome. Third, number eight, Fishing for a Corona. And fourth, number five, Mrs. First Lady. Here now are your total results of the eighth race from top to bottom in your programs. Number one, One Dashing Z was sixth with a time of 17.30 seconds. Number two, Island Vodka was fifth with a time of 17.27 seconds. Number three, Carneros, the race winner, with a time of 16.79 seconds. Number four, A Rising Miracle, was seventh, with a time of 17.65 seconds. Number five, Mrs. First Lady finished fourth, with a time of 17.11 seconds. Number six, Louisiana Kit T, was eighth, with a time of 17.79 seconds. Number seven, Corona's Chrome, was second, with a time of 16.85 seconds. And number eight, Fishing for a Corona, finished third, with a time of 16.95 seconds. Rechecking from top to bottom, order of finish in your program should read 651-74823. Those are your total results of the eighth race. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our day of live racing here at Ajax Downs. Until next Sunday, with first race post time at 12.55. Until then, this is Frank Ferrari wishing everyone a safe drive home. Okay, Eddie Walton is here. He won the last race on Carneros and uh, second win. We had a lot of horses win today that won their last start. So seems like horses that are red hot right now are uh, carrying it on. Would you agree with that thinking? Yeah, I think so too. And you know, they're going short right now. So those horses that stand up and get away really good are have a bit of an advantage too. That makes a lot of sense. The races do start off a little bit shorter. We'll be stretching out to 400 yards and more as the season goes on. And Carneros is one of those horses that you were familiar with uh, over the winter time at Remington Park, uh, working with uh, Jason Pasco and Brianne Langford. And he's come a long way now. I mean, he showed a lot of promise last year, but two wins in a row. Do you think uh, stakes races are in his future, maybe? Yeah, well, today he was supposed to be in derby trials, and, you know, He's going to be awful tough in the Derby off of those two races. And it's like you said last, I guess, two weeks ago about being gelded. He's a completely different horse at, at home, you know, and just more class and doing everything the way he should do it. Well, that's terrific, Eddie, and a great day for you. And um, we have a nice photo that hopefully everybody will see up on social media eventually of, of you and young uh, Nakia Ramirez uh, wearing the same silks, and you're practically standing on her head because, you know, she's half your height, kind of like I am. Well, you know, the funny thing is, there's a rider a little bit taller than me at Remington, and there's one smaller than her. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to see that jockey that's taller than you. Oh, he's one of the leading riders there, Cody Smith. I think he's about maybe half an inch bigger than me. An awesome r rider. Just awesome. Well, there you go. Size doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to have to end this conversation now. Eddie, have a great week. We'll see everybody next weekend, and uh, we're going to throw it over here to Heather to wrap it up. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Jen. Uh, that concludes our, race, our racing for the, for the day. Uh, we hope you enjoyed and have a safe drive home. And just to know, every Sunday, every summer is our live race day. And we hope to see you at all of the summer events that I have been talking about today. Have a great night.